Hey guys, I'm Graham Elliott, chef, restaurateur, and more importantly, someone that loves to travel. That's what's brought me here to Kentucky. We're gonna see some great people, hear some great stories, and taste some great food. You're about to be rooted in flavor. Nestled in the heart of Kentucky, Simpsonville was always an important stop along the stagecoach route. Clearly, folks here know how to care for travelers and feed them well. Nowadays, it's not just a layover, it's a destination with tons to explore. Fortunately, my buddy, Chef David Danielson, is a great storyteller. All right, man, so this is the beginning of the stack cake. We've baked five different layers. Okay. And what we're gonna do is kind of layer this up. Mm -hmm. In Appalachia, Eastern Kentucky, when right. people would have weddings, special, special gatherings, each family member would make a layer of the cake and they would bring it together and then uh, they would assemble it, right? Yeah, I can almost see that, right? I mean, when you're talking about food, family, bringing everyone together, this dish really symbolizes that. All right, so show me how we plate this thing. All right, we've got some cinnamon, obviously goes with it. So that's for someone that this is my piece. There you go, man. <laughs> yeah, you that's know, right. Just some diced apples, mm -hmm. rosemary, brown butter ice cream. So simple and beautiful. Like there's not crazy garnishes and things yeah. all over the place. It's like, I want to get in there now. Awesome, let's all dive right, in I literally want to like <sighs> go right, right into this dude. Oh my God, I cannot believe how moist it is. That's amazing, and that jam in the middle, it's got so much acidity, it's tart, it's bright, yeah. it like cuts through the sweetness, and that ice cream, it's almost the opposite, right? It's like yin and yang, it's rich, it's buttery. I mean, yeah. this is a winner. Awesome, man. Well, cool, so all right. Coming out today. I'm bringing that with me. Cool, we'll wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Good to see you. Just down the road is Shelbyville, home to Jephthah Creed Distillery. Here, a sixth generation Kentucky family is reinventing the distillery experience with throwback moonshine inspired by the farm. So what is Jephthah Creed? What does this mean? It came from our home farm. Okay. So we sit at the foothills of the Jephthah Knobs, right okay. between Louisville and Lexington. Uh -huh. Now, this area, you were born and raised? Yeah, I've grown up here in Shelbyville, Kentucky. The entire time I've lived here, and my family's been here for 250 years. Wow. Yeah. And then you got to travel, right? And you can get inspired and bring some ideas back. Where were you? Yeah, so I studied brewing and distilling in Scotland, and I lived there for a year, and then got my certificate and came back, finished came up my back. degree. All right, I want to uh, to try some of these things. So can you tell me some of the uh, the ones that we have here? Absolutely, what we've got here, we've got our original moonshine, which is the one mm -hmm. I have. You've got our cinnamon moonshine. Okay, beautiful. Well, let's Absolutely. bottoms up, right? Cheers. Wow, so usually it's got like a burning sensation, but this is super velvety. How do you get it to that point? We make it right here uh -huh. at the distillery. Okay. So we make it from our bloody butcher corn, uh, for our original moonshine, which is what I had, it's 80 proof. Okay. And then your cinnamon moonshine that you had mm -hmm. is 60. And we'll add the all natural cinnamon oil that we use to flavor it ah. after distillation. Got instead it. Of before. Okay. What other drinks do I have in front of me? All right. So the one that you've got right there, that mm -hmm. is our lemonade moonshine. Okay. This is our blackberry moonshine and our apple pie. The sandwich that we have here is our mm -hmm. ham and pimento cheese sandwich. And we infuse our hot pepper vodka with it. Yum. So it is delicious. Let's get in there. Absolutely. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. I just love that pimento mm. cheese. The tomato, the ham, yeah. a little salt, a little crunch. I mean, that's delicious. Absolutely. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Autumn, for sharing no all this with me. Whether you're riding through the back roads or looking for a great meal, Cheers. Cheers. Kentucky has something for everyone. Here you'll find rich history, friendly folks, and delicious eats. 